Hi, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom, and today I'm bringing you a video on how to clean the Votonite liner that Louis Vuitton has put in a lot of vintage bags. You'll see a lot of videos on uh, how to remove the liner because it can get really sticky and gooey and gross if there's moisture that's just been left in the bag. But you can also get these vintage bags with the liner in good condition. They're just going to be really dirty and gross. This one has a lot of makeup and dirt. First thing that we're going to use is a magic eraser. Next is a leather cleaner and conditioner. No, the liner is not leather. All right, so I wanted to show you this bag. I've done this um, top part, and I used both the magic eraser, and then I went over it with a microfiber towel and the uh, Chemical Guys Leather Quick Detailer Cleans, Restores, and Protects um, Leather. So anyways, uh, yeah, and as you can see, there's a huge difference. It's not perfect. But it's clean and uh, it's much nicer. You know, I might go over it again. And just to show you that it's not just, oh, the bottom part of this bag is dirtier because that's where things sit. I'm going to flip it around and you can see how dirty the upper part was as well. Let's see, so haven't touched the side yet. But yeah, so I'm gonna just keep on working at it. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging, but I imagine I'm just gonna kind of straighten it out. So gross. And uh, get to it like that. But uh, yeah, so gonna see how well this stuff comes off with this technique. All right, so now I'm going to show you how I am cleaning the elastic ruching holders here in this um, trowel toilet. And, uh, I mean, it's nothing special. I'm just going to take it. I've already done the other two. There's three. Um, and I'm going to take it and try to straighten it out. And I really do need a new magic eraser because it's deteriorating here on me, which is to be expected. I'm just trying to create a flat surface. The dirt comes up pretty easy. It's uh, when I find one of the stains. Um, I might need to go over one of the makeup stains. That's where I might need to go over it a little bit more. So that's the outside part. And then uh, pretty much do the same on the inside. Um, I kind of get, do this with the, the first part of this. So flip it inside and kind of describe it and then I flip it around and clean it like I clean the outside just by doing a little bit of a twist So, I also, I don't know if you noticed, I went ahead and stuffed the bag with a towel. It just made it a lot easier 
um, for me to be able to get certain um, areas a little bit better when I had something underneath. I was kind of keeping the bag in form. Um, and I'm just right now kind of drying that off and brushing off the debris from the Magic Eraser. And um, it's still not perfect um, because I'm going to go back over it again with this uh, leather cleaner here. Again, this is not leather. It's a man-made material, La Toinette. Again, I don't know how to say that. What, how it's looking. So we've already seen kind of the top part. Um, uh, but yeah, it's not perfect yet. I'm gonna still clean this bottom part a little bit more, but just look at the difference. I mean, that was the same color and had the same type of stains. There's still some purple here that I'm gonna try to get at. And so we're gonna take that leather cleaner and the microfiber towel and see if I can get these purple stains. And I don't know what these specks are. Um, and it looks like it's just crud, makeup crud. So I'm working on that, okay? Okay, so I have um, gone over this a little bit more and all of those little specks that you could see that kind of almost, at first I was like, oh my gosh, is that more um, degradation of the lining? It ended up being, um, might be a little bit more. I just have to work on those. Just ended up being specs dirt. Um, and what worked for it is some elbow grease. I used basically my nail through the microfiber towel. Um, you might be able to get some of it out to see it. It's flaking off. It does come off with a little bit of um, nail use. So I just have to do that a little bit more. But um, you can see that it is still stained. I wasn't able to really get that particular color out. I got some other colors off, but um, I wasn't able to get this bluish purple color off. So, but it is just really coming together well. So, I mean, this is filthy. And I tried to actually wipe it with a wet wipe and another towel. Um, and that wasn't doing anything. So you do need to use a little bit more elbow grease to clean these old linings. Um, and again, fortunately, this one is in good condition. So we're gonna keep at it. So another day, another beer. Actually, I'm drinking this one. Divine Barrel. This is one of the best breweries ever. So, um, the cleaning of the Louis Vuitton Trost Toilette 28 What Tonight is done. And uh, I've already flipped the bag back, but look how good that looks, guys. It's not perfect. That purple staining never did come out of the corners, but this is this is amazing. And where I thought the ruching was going to be the most difficult part to clean, it ended up being this pocket. The inside of this pocket was really difficult. Um, that I thought, I, I did clean it when it, the bag was inside out, but then after turning the bag right side up, um, it was easier to kind of get into the pocket then. But applying this uh, conditioner, cleaner, and I think you could use any, I'm not um, saying that this is the best one, but applying this to the lining really did help make it a lot more pliable. Um, I also went ahead and I washed this bag. I used a leather cleaner. Um, I used a leather cleaner because it really needed a deep cleaning and just using baby wipes wasn't going to cut it. Um, but uh, got a lot of dirt off of it and then I conditioned it with, here it is, um, the Apple Leather Conditioner. And it really does make a difference in the pliability of this bag. Um, 
highly recommend it if you don't already condition your canvas. I have, um, I also cleaned up the zipper. Um, so it's a little bit shiny now. Uh, I need to get some wax paper to help it to zip a little bit better. It's not terrible. But yeah, so that's it. That's what this video is about. This is uh, literally my first video. I hope to bring more to you guys. I want to do more videos on uh, uh, can't think. I want to do more videos on rehabbing vintage Louis Vuittons and vintage coach bags. And I'd also like to bring some videos and actually talking about these particular bags, these unique bags. Like I would do a video, even though a lot of people have done videos on the Charles Toilets, but um, maybe in comparing um, all the different sizes. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just wanna kind of talk about some unique bags that I have in my collection. I have over a hundred, but I am also a reseller and, um, and I'm working through these bags uh, to get them rehabbed and get them back out into the world so they can be used and loved. But um, yeah, so if you find interest in what I'm talking about and you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. I hope to start putting out videos. I'm new to this, so apologize for how bad they might be. And um, yeah, like this video. If you appreciate me putting out a video on cleaning this watch tonight liner, because I couldn't find one. I couldn't find any information on how to clean it, even though maybe it's not a brilliant way to clean it, but yeah, it will help somebody because it would have helped me too. And if you have another way that you'd like to clean this liner, I would love to hear about it and I might give it a go too. So I hope to get more bags to clean. So, all right. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night. Bye.